In this video, we are going to install Python and PyCharm, and we are going to set up PyCharm. And this video is a beginner tutorial, so you don't need any prerequisites. So first of all, you should go to python.org. Then here, you should click on Downloads, click on this. And now in this page, you should scroll down. And here, you can see that the Python versions has been sorted according to the release date. So we want Python 3.11.4, so I click on this. And in this page, I should scroll down. Here you can see here are the files. So because I'm on Windows and I have a 64-bit Windows, so I click on this in order to download the installation file. So here we can see this is the downloaded file. So I right-click on it and click on Run as Administrator. So in this step, it is very important to check this one at python.exe to path. So I click on this. And also I want to customize the installation. So I click on this. And once again, I press next. And in this step, this install location is very important because there is going to be a file here called interpreter, Python interpreter, which you need it later. For example, if you want to install other IDEs, such as, for example, PyCharm, you need to know the location of this install location. You need to know the location of that interpreter. So this install location is very important. So suppose that I want to install Python here. So in order to do so, I click on this and I copy this path. That's it. I go to uh, Python install and here I paste this location and I press install. And I should wait for the installation. And as you can see, it's creating some files and folders in this install location. So as you can see, the setup was successful. So I press close. And here in this install location, you can see we have a file called python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. If you don't see these extensions, you should go to view and check this one, file name extensions. If you check this one, you can see these extensions. So this python.exe is basically the interpreter of Python, which is an important file. And you need to know the install location of Python because of this file. So now I press Windows key on my keyboard and you can see these files have been recently added. And you can see one of them is IDLE. And if you don't see these files, you can search for it. You can search for IDLE. And as you can see, we have, we have installed Python 3.11. So I should click on this. So now let's create and run a simple Python file. So in order to do so, I click on File, New File. And here I can start coding. So for example, suppose that I want to draw a star. So in order to do so, this is the code which I want to use. So this is the code for drawing a star. That's it. So first of all, I should save this file. So I click on file and save. And suppose that I want to save it in this folder and let's name it code 01. That's it. And I press save. So you can see it is code 01.py. .py is the extensions of Python files. And now in order to run this, I click on run and run module so python starts running the code and drawing a star and let's close the output so the running process has been finished and if i go to that folder you can see here is our file so in order to install pycharm first of all you should go to google and search pycharm and you should click on this link in order to open the jetsbrains website and here you should click on download and you can see we have two versions, the professional version and the community version. The community version is free, so we want to install this. So I click on download. And in this page, you should wait. And you can see the download has been started. So now you can see this is the downloaded file. So I right click on it. And then I should click on run as administrator. And here I should press next. And once again, here I should press next. And remember that the install location of PyCharm is not that important but the install location of Python was important. So here I click on next. I don't want to check none of these, so I click on next. And once again, I press install and I should wait for the installation. So as you can see, the setup was successful. So I check this one, run PyCharm, and I press finish. And I should wait for PyCharm. So here in this window, I don't want to import anything. So I choose this one and I press OK. And here I press allow access. And now I want to create a project. So I click on this new project and I should choose a name for my project. So let's choose, for example, YouTube for my project. And this is basically the name of my project. And you can see this is the path of my project. And for example, later when I create Python files, you can find those Python files in this path. 
That's it. And now we should introduce the Python interpreter to PyCharm. And if you remember, when I was installing Python, I told you that the install location of Python is very important because the Python interpreter is in that location and we need it later. And this is the time that we need that Python interpreter. So if you remember, we installed Python in this location. So I click on this and I copy this path. And once again, I go to PyCharm. And here, because I want to add an existing interpreter, so I click on this previously configured interpreter. And I click on this add interpreter. And I should click on this add local interpreter. And because as you can see, this is an existing interpreter. So I click on this existing and I click on this. And here I should paste this. So let's delete this and paste that location. So you can see this is the location. So I click on this in order to open it. And you can see here we have a file called python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. So I click on it. I click OK. And once again, I click on OK. That's it. And I don't want to create any welcome script. So I uncheck this one and I press create button. And remember that we should wait for these processes. And here, as you can see, it says Microsoft Defender configuration. I want to do all this stuff automatically. So I click on this and I should wait for these processes. So here, first of all, let's maximize PyCharm. And now I want to create a Python file. So I click on this and here I right click and I press new and new Python file. So let's name the file code 01 and I press enter. And you can see here we have code 01 below the YouTube project that we have created. And you can see this, this is the path of our project. That's it. But as you can see, first of all, I don't like the dark theme. And also, I don't like this font. I want to make it bigger. So in order to do so, I click on this file and I go to settings. And here we can see we have different sections. So let's close this so here as you can see we have a lot of sections and one of them is appearance and behavior so if i click on it in order to open this section you can see here we have a lot of subsections one of them is appearance and if i want to change the theme so i can click on this and i want to choose the live theme that's it and let's close this and once again i want to change the font size so i go to editor and here i go to font and I want to change the font size, for example, to 30. So I press the OK button and you can see we have changed the theme and also we have changed the font size. And I want to minimize this panel. So I click on this project and you can see it has been minimized. And now I can start coding and now let's paste a sample code. And this code is for drawing a star. So in order to run this, I should right click in the middle of this page and I should click on this run code zero one code zero one is the name of my code. You can see its name is code zero one and I want to run code zero one. So I click on this and you can see it's drawing the star. That's it. And as you can see, this is the run section. So you can see this is the run panel. So if I click on it, you can see it minimize the run panel. And if I once again click on it, you can see it shows the run panel. And if you could do me a favor and like the video, I would really appreciate it because it helps the video to reach more people.